Look closely at the brown bag in the hands of this 19 year old. When we open it up, a 24 ounce beer. It's now in the possession of the Ohio Investigative Unit, a team monitoring underage alcohol and tobacco sales. We follow them inside for some answers as to why this 19 year old was not carded for the beer. We don't have no comment. Can you please leave the establishment? Do you, do you typically card young people like that? Yes, can you please leave? Thank you. This sale, the exception, as part of the I-Team's time with the investigative unit, we visited several Wood County stores. Our goal in this uh, endeavor is to make sure that, uh, you know, these locations are in compliance and that they're not selling alcohol to a person under 21 years of age. Agent in charge Sean Tatter and his team hit 13 stores. Each time, the 19-year-old confidential informant enters the store trying to buy beer. If he's asked for his ID, he must present his real ID, saying he's only 19. Most times, he leaves with nothing. This clerk scanned the ID. The computer said he was 19, and he was denied. It's important for our youth not to be drinking at such a young age. It's they're not responsible enough yet to handle it, I don't think. Anthony Garn sees all kinds of people trying to buy alcohol, but scanning the ID takes the guesswork out. It's immediate, you know, it's not over 21, so you don't even need to look at the date one because of that very clear vertical card. It seems so simple just to, to slide somebody's ID through, no matter how old they look. A law-abiding clerk could have saved the life of Brian Hefflinger. Is it harder or easier to talk about his story these days? I think it's it's easier a little bit. I mean, as time goes on, the harsh emotion is not there. Emotion after losing his then 18-year-old son, Brian, in a 2013 drunk driving accident. The teenage Hefflinger purchased alcohol from a Door Street store. After drinking, he got behind the wheel. We showed Brian's father what we found. And there he goes, 19 years old. Out the door after the clerk sells him beer. Think if it were their family member or their underage kid um, being able to buy beer or liquor and what might happen when they drink that beer or liquor, I, I'd like them to think about that. Clearly not what happened inside the Barneys on Crossroads Parkway in Rossford where the underage sale happened. Agents with the investigative unit issued a ticket not only to the clerk who sold the beer, but to the store itself. Penalties handed out more than you might think. Here's what the I-Team found. Through mid-October 2015, the investigative unit cited 20 Lucas County businesses and 21 people received citations. Here's a look at the last five years with 2010 showing some of the largest numbers. 63 businesses cited, 36 individuals. I think at some point, you know, it, it, it needs a stop and I think we're making progress, but um, obviously it still goes on. People are still able to walk in and buy it without being carted. The Hefflingers give school talks across the country, even addressing store owners, illustrating the potential results of kids and alcohol. We tell the kids, you know, it's not, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just trying to help you think about the consequences if you do decide to drink. That's why we're out here, you know, just to let people know that, um, that there is somebody that's always checking. Selling to anyone underage could get a clerk a $1,000 fine and up to six months in jail. Too early to tell what penalties this store will see, but penalties because underage drinking should matter to all stores, all clerks, all families. Families that don't want others to feel their pain. What do you think Brian would say to you and your family today? What would he say? I, you know, Brian never really cared what people thought too much about him. He was pretty confident himself and I, I think he would appreciate what we're doing. He, he wouldn't like it totally as any teenager, but I think he would appreciate what we're doing. And if it did save anybody's life, I mean, I, he'd definitely be all for that.